The glint of gold has captivated adventurers for centuries, and the dream of striking it rich continues to lure many. But for some, the romance of gold isn't about vast fortunes, it's about the thrill of the hunt and the satisfaction of unearthing a hidden treasure. This is where hobby sluicing comes in. It's a surprisingly accessible way to experience the world of gold prospecting, turning a weekend into a mini gold rush adventure. Whether you're a seasoned outdoors enthusiast or simply curious about the natural world beneath your feet, Hobby Sluicing offers a unique blend of challenge, discovery, and a healthy dose of fresh air. So, grab your boots, dust off your sense of adventure, and let's dive into the world of recreational gold prospecting. From weekend warrior to weekend prospector, essential gear and techniques. The call of the gold rush might be strong, but before you head out with a pickaxe and dreams of overflowing nuggets, hobby sluicing requires some basic equipment and know-how. Here's what you'll need to transform yourself from a weekend warrior to a weekend prospector. Gear up. 1. Gold pan. This is your primary tool for separating gold from the rest. 1. A good quality 10-14 inch gold pan is ideal. 2. Shovel. A sturdy shovel for digging and breaking up loose material near potential gold deposits. 3. Classifier, optional. This wire mesh screen helps separate larger rocks from the material you'll be panning, saving you time and effort. 4. Water source. Access to a stream or strong hose with good pressure is crucial for creating the water flow that will wash away lighter materials. 5. Safety gear. Sturdy boots, gloves, sun protection, and appropriate clothing for the environment are essential. Mastering the technique. Hobby sluicing isn't just about randomly shoveling dirt into a stream. Here's a basic breakdown of the process. 1. Location, 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 research is key. 1. Look for areas with a history of gold deposits or geological features that might indicate gold presence. 1. Public lands with regulations permitting recreational mining are good starting points. 2. Breaking up the ground. Once you've identified a promising location, use your shovel to loosen and break up the soil and rocks near potential gold deposits. 3. Channel creation. If using a stream, you can create a small channel or sluice way with a downward slope. 3. Line it with rocks to create riffles, natural dams, that will trap heavier materials like gold. 4. The water work. Divert your water source to flow through the channel or sluice. 4. As you shovel the loosened material into the water flow, the current will carry away lighter debris. 5. Panning for pay dirt. Keep a close eye on the riffles. 5. Periodically, scoop up some material trapped there and use your gold pan to separate the heavier gold flakes or nuggets from the lighter rocks and sand. Remember, patience is key. Hobby sluicing is more about the experience than striking it rich overnight. Enjoy the time spent outdoors, learn about the local geology, and who knows, you might just unearth a little piece of golden treasure. Liquid Treasure Hunt – Where to find gold and responsible sluicing practices. The thrill of the hunt in hobby sluicing goes hand in hand with knowing where to look. While visions of panning for gold in any stream might dance in your head, a little research can significantly increase your chances of finding some color a prospector's term for gold. Following the gold trail. 1. Historical hotspots. Research areas with a documented history of gold mining. 1. Abandoned mines or areas with documented gold rushes are good starting points. 2. Geological clues. Look for areas with exposed bedrock formations like quartz veins, which are often associated with gold deposits. 2. Alluvial fans formed by the accumulation of sediment from streams with gold deposits, are also prime prospecting locations. 3. Public land perks. Many public lands managed by federal or state agencies allow recreational gold prospecting with proper permits. 3. These areas often have designated locations or regulations specific to sluicing, so be sure to research and follow the guidelines. Responsible recreation. Hobby sluicing should be a force for good, not environmental destruction. Here are some key points to remember. 1. Leave no trace. 
pack out all your trash and minimize any impact on the surrounding area. 2. Respect wildlife. Be aware of your surroundings and avoid disturbing wildlife habitats. 3. Follow regulations. Obtain any necessary permits and adhere to all local and federal regulations regarding recreational mining in your chosen area. 4. Practice sustainable techniques. Use minimal water when possible and avoid using harmful chemicals like mercury, which is a dangerous pollutant. By following these principles, you can ensure that your hobby sluicing adventure is not only enjoyable but also environmentally responsible. Remember, the beauty of the natural world and the thrill of discovery are treasures worth protecting. More than just gold, the unexpected thrill and rewards of hobby sluicing. The glint of a gold nugget might be the initial allure of hobby sluicing, but the true rewards extend far beyond the possibility of striking it rich. This outdoor pursuit offers a surprising range of benefits that go beyond the physical act of panning for gold. A geological journey. Hobby sluicing is a crash course in earth science. As you explore potential locations and unearth various materials, you'll gain a newfound appreciation for the geological history of the land. Learning to identify different rock types, minerals, and formations can become a fascinating treasure hunt in itself. Nature Connection Spending time outdoors, by a stream or surrounded by nature, is a powerful stress reliever and fosters a deeper connection with the environment. The rhythmic flow of water, the chirping of birds, and the peacefulness of nature can be incredibly rejuvenating. The thrill of discovery. Even if you don't unearth a fortune in gold, the thrill of discovery is ever-present in hobby sluicing. Every pan of material holds the potential to reveal something unexpected, a beautiful gemstone, a rare mineral, or a unique geological formation. The surprise of finding something fascinating adds an element of adventure to every outing. A skill to master, hobby sluicing requires practice and technique. Mastering the art of panning, learning to read the landscape for clues, and understanding the flow of water to maximize your yield are all skills that can be honed over time. The process of becoming a more efficient prospector adds a layer of accomplishment to the experience. Community connection. The world of hobby sluicing isn't solitary. There's a thriving community of prospectors online and in local clubs who share knowledge, tips, and stories. Connecting with fellow enthusiasts can add a social element to the hobby and provide valuable insights gleaned from experience. In conclusion, hobby sluicing is more than just a search for gold. It's a gateway to geological knowledge, a chance to reconnect with nature, and a journey of discovery filled with unexpected rewards. So, grab your pan, embrace the fresh air, and embark on your own liquid treasure hunt. You might just be surprised by what you find. Final thoughts. The allure of gold may be the spark that ignites the interest in hobby sluicing, but the true rewards lie in the experience itself. It's a chance to become a weekend geologist, a temporary resident of the natural world, and an active participant in the thrill of discovery. From the meditative rhythm of panning to the camaraderie of the prospecting community, hobby sluicing offers a unique blend of challenge, knowledge, and a healthy dose of adventure. So, the next time you seek an escape from the everyday, consider grabbing your boots and a gold pan. You might not strike it rich, but you're guaranteed to unearth a newfound appreciation for the natural world, the satisfaction of acquired skills, and perhaps, a speck of golden treasure along the way. Remember, in hobby sluicing, the journey is just as valuable as the destination.